everyone and welcome to our YouTube educational channel. Case and Step. In this video, we will discuss first step in defined phase in Six Sigma project. SIPOC diagram. And before starting, please don't forget to hit subscribe to our channel if you interested in our content. Let's start our video. What is SIPOC diagram? SIPOC diagram is a visual tool for documenting a business process from beginning to end. It simply maps the process from a macroscopic point of view. It become macroscopic or high-level process map because it do not contain much detail. Before we proceed in our video, we must know more about SIPOC abbreviation as SIPOC stands for. Let's start with first letter, S. Stand for supplier, who is a person or organization that provides the inputs to your process. Simply these are the people who supply the inputs, as every input should have a supplier. Second letter is I. Stands for input, which are materials, resources, and data required to run your process. Third letter is P. Stands for process which defined as a collection of activities that creates one or more outputs with value to the customer. Fourth letter is O. Stands for output. It is the products or services that result from your process. These are the tangible things that the process produces, for example a report or product. The last letter in SIPOC abbreviation is C which stands for customer. He is a person or organization that receives the outputs of your process. Kindly note that every output should have a customer. Here we are finished definition of SIPOC. But we had a note regarding supplier and customer as in some processes. The supplier and the customer may be the same person. Like in recruitment of staff member process. Line manager is the supplier as he give input with request to fill vacancy and by end he is the customer who will receive the output of process, which is new staff member. Now let's move to next part in our video. Why we use SIPOC diagram. SIPOC diagram is used during the early stages of an improvement project. So whenever you are planning to start some process improvement activity, it is important to get a high-level understanding of the scope of the process first. And SIPOC diagrams are useful for focusing a discussion and helping team members agree upon a common language and understanding of a process for continuous improvement and to agree the boundaries of what they will be working on. How to use SIPOC diagram Let's try an example. Making pizza. As you see our process name is making pizza. Let's start with process steps. Step 1. Prepare dough. Step 2. Add sauce. Step 3. Add cheese and toppings. Step 4. Bake in oven. Step 5. Remove from oven and serve. Let's go backward to inputs for this process as we find telephone order. Dining area request. Olives. Peppers. Sauce. Boxes. Then we list all suppliers. Client. Mills Corporation. Farmers Corporation. Marco Market. Printing. Regarding outputs we will find. Pizza. Bill. For customer column we will write down. Delivery driver as he is first customer receive the output. Dine in customers. Take away customers. Delivery customers. Here we are finish our example which is written by brainstorming. As we don't know entire process of ordering and delivery for pizza. Uses of SIPOC. SIPOC may be used for training to give new employees a comprehensive overview of each process. SIPOC is useful in case and events. Especially when any one of team members are from outside the process. 
SIPOC is most important to build detailed process mapping as when you start from high level, you will not lose your track in detailed process map. Here we are finished our video. If you interested in our content, please make like, share, and subscribe our channel to get updates.